Welcome to the next section of your extra credit activity. Preview the reading, where we're going to preview the actual reading that you're going to see on your checkpoint on Wednesday and answer some questions about what we read. This text is called The Tournament. It was the beginning of summer in the year 1072, and Henry and his fellow knights were preparing for their upcoming tournament. The tournament was a golden opportunity for a knight to make a name for himself. The tension was palpable. Within the castle where Henry lived, all the knights thought of nothing but the upcoming tournament as they ate and slept. It was rumored that the king would be in attendance. That alone was enough to get any young knight excited. But there was also the fact that winning a jousting contest at a tournament would bring wealth and fame. That, in turn, led to the possibility of joining the upper nobility, owning land, and gaining power and prestige. Henry could barely stop thinking about the possibility of winning. He wanted nothing more than to show the king and the nobles just how brave and chivalrous he could be. He would stop at nothing to win. No obstacle could stand in his way. What do you learn about Henry? One thing you might have said is that Henry is a young knight in the year 1072. What else do you learn about Henry? We also learn that Henry is getting ready to compete in a jousting tournament. This is something that many young knights would have been really, really excited about back in the Middle Ages. So we learn that he's excited by the idea of winning because he wants the power and glory that comes with it. For weeks leading up to the tournament, Henry trained and practiced. He spent most of his time on his horse practicing his jousting, but he also spent hours with his best friends, Gavin and Cedric, practicing their swordsmanship and discussing warfare strategy. Henry, Gavin, and Cedric were knights at the same castle, serving the same lord. Together, they had gone through the long and arduous process it took to become a knight, starting out as pages, then training as squires, and finally being awarded knighthood at the same time. They did everything together. They had been to war, gone on countless adventures, and learned the meaning of chivalry and bravery. Henry would almost certainly have to joust against Gavin and Cedric at the upcoming tournament, he knew. As much as he didn't want his dreams of winning to be jeopardized by his friendships, Henry couldn't get the thought out of his mind. Facing down his two best friends in the jousting tournament would be nearly impossible. Jousting was not for the faint of heart. Knights could be, and often were, killed at these events. You had to be ruthless to win. Why is Henry nervous to joust against Gavin and Cedric? Henry's really good friends with Gavin and Cedric, and it sounds like they've been a lot together including serving the same lord that Henry does. We also learn that Henry knows jousting against his friends could ruin his friendship, or even worse, it might end up in him harming one of his best friends. These thoughts ate away at Henry. He wanted nothing more than to win and to prove himself. But the thought of hurting his best friends was unfathomable. As the day of the tournament grew closer, Gavin and Cedric's training became even more intense, but Henry felt distant and uneasy. One afternoon, he stood by silently as his friends boasted about which one of them would win the tournament. When I win, they'll call me Sir Cedric the Brave, Cedric boasted. You're wrong, Gavin said. The winner will be Sir Gavin the Gallant. Just then, a thought occurred to Henry. While the upcoming tournament was supposed to be a way for the knights to prove their chivalry and their bravery, he knew that there were other ways to do this. 
there was a whole world outside the castle walls where Knight could go looking for adventures to prove his valor. Everyone had heard stories of the knights errant, who spent their days wandering the land, searching for knightly duels, or damsels in distress who needed to be saved, or battles that needed to be fought. Why didn't he and Cedric and Gavin do that, Henry wondered. They could become traveling knights. They could wander the country, saving the distressed, and fighting any evildoers who crossed their paths. They could finally be free from the pressure to one-up each other and prove themselves to the Lord and the King. They would see the world and do good deeds. What idea does Henry have to avoid jousting against his friends? As Henry stresses out about having a joust against his friends, he suddenly realizes there are lots of ways for knights to prove their greatness, in other ways besides jousting. So he suggests leaving the castle to fight evildoers as they adventure across the country. Cedric, Gavin, wait, Henry said, pausing as he was about to climb down from his horse's saddle. Cedric and Gavin stopped their horses and turned to face Henry. What if, Henry began, collecting his thoughts, what if we didn't go to the tournament tomorrow? What if, instead, we just left? We could become knights errant. We could leave this place and go looking for adventure. Cedric and Gavin looked at each other worriedly. I don't know, Cedric began. It was not easy to imagine leaving their castle behind. They had worked hard to get where they were. This tournament is a big deal to us. It could change our lives. Gavin agreed. I like adventure as much as the next guy, but can we really just leave? After all we've done to get this far? It's just that, Henry cut him off. I'm going, he said. I know there is more to see out there. Our valor and our chivalry are wasted in jousting tournaments. We should be exploring and dueling with evil men and saving people from trouble. You can come with me or you can stay. Henry turned his horse and took off at a gallop. He sped out of the castle walls, a sense of freedom washing over him. He would miss Cedric and Gavin, but he was glad to escape the pressure of winning and gaining wealth and fame. As he settled into a trot, Henry heard the sound of hooves clattering behind him. He turned and with a wide smile saw that Cedric and Gavin were racing towards him. When they caught up, the three knights exchanged broad grins. They rode off into the distance together in search of adventure. Why do Gavin and Cedric decide to follow Henry? Although at first Gavin and Cedric hesitate to give up after working so hard to prepare for the tournament, they eventually decide to ride off with Henry in a gesture of friendship, excited to take on new adventures with their good friend. This concludes the section of previewing the text. See you in the next section, Kipsters.